Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another GCSE Maths Question of the Week. You know how this works by now. Every week I treat you, and it is a treat, to a lovely GCSE Maths Question that's hopefully going to help you prepare as best as humanly possible for the demands of your forthcoming GCSE. So, this week we've got a percentage question. It's kindly been provided by Edexcel. But I'll tell you what, as lovely as it is, it is causing students problems. So let's take a look at it. I increased 200 quid by 50%. Then I increased the new amount by 10%. What percentage of the original amount do I have now? Right, a lot to contend with. Good news is it's a calculator question. And I know this sounds obvious, but if it's a calculator question, make use of your calculator. A lot of students I know don't. All right, so let's take it into uh, let's take it one step at a time. Increase two hundred quid by fifty percent. How do I increase by fifty percent on a calculator? I times by well to find fifty percent it will be zero point five. So to increase by fifty percent it's going to be one, which is my original, times by. Uh, sorry, one which is my original, and then the 0 0.5 on the top, the extra 50% on top. So to increase by 50%, you times by 1.5. Now, hopefully you know the answer to that, but let's just treat ourselves to, to working this out. So here it goes, 200 times it by 1.5. Can you guess what it's gonna be before I press equals? Bit of drama, here it comes, 300. So that's gonna be 300 quid. Oh, dodgy pound sign, but there we go. And then I get the new amount. So the new amount is 300 pounds and I increase that by 10%. So there's my original one and my 10% is 0 0.1, so I times by 1.1. So let's get my calculator up again. So I've got 300 quid and I will times that by 1.1. Oh, flipping heck deliberate mistake 1.1 do you know what this is going to be there it is 330 pounds is that my answer well no what percentage of the original amount do i have now Whew, flipping out the demand in this so to work out the percentage of an original uh what i what i tend to do is i take my new amount which is going to be 330 and I divide it by my original amount, which is gonna be 200. And that's gonna allow me, so that's kind of the new amount, that's the original amount, and that's gonna allow me to work out the percentage of the new amount as a percent of the original. Okay, so let's get this fired up. Here it comes, clear that. So I've got 330, and I'm gonna divide it by 200 and I'm gonna press equals, and it's given me in a dodgy form, 33 out of 20, but that's okay. Press me a little SD button, and that's gonna change it to 1.65. Now, what's 1.65 as a percentage? Well, one whole is a 100%, and 65.65 is 65%. So it is 165% of the original. Is that one of the answers? Yes, it is there. Before we carry on, and you know, I know you know what I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna go through each of the wrong answers, but I just wanna just pause for a second on this, cause it can be a little bit confusing. Say you had 200 quid. What's 100% of 200 quid? Well, 100% of 200 quid is 200 quid. Now, some of you may be screaming, no, it's not, it's 400. No, 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 no. That's a 100% increase. So if you increase something by 100%, it's like doubling it. But this question said, what percentage of the original amount? What percentage of? So it's gotta be 100% is gonna be 200. And then my 65% is gonna be my extra 130. So it does make sense for 165% of my original amount to be the right answer. Okay, so I just wanted to clear that up. Um, where do each of these wrong answers come from? Because we can learn loads from this. I think D is probably the obvious one to start with here, 330. We saw that in our working out there, 330. I reckon the student there has actually worked out what the new amount is and just written that down as a percentage, which isn't gonna be quite the right answer. Okay, that's just actually worked out the new amount. D, a B, 60, well, I reckon you can see this one, right? 50, increase by 50%, increase by 10%, let's just do 50 and add on our 10 and you're gonna get your 60%. Okay, classic mistake, but it's not right. 
A, 155. Now, this is interesting because it's not far off, right? 165 is the right answer. I reckon this is a student who's realized, okay, it's going to be 100% of it. That's going to give you my 200. But then what I reckon they've done, and this is just a theory, I reckon they've worked out 10% of 50, which is going to be 5. So just said, all right, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my original amount, so that's my 100%. And I've got 50%, so that will be 50%, 50 which would be 50%. And then I'm going to do 10% of 50, which is going to give me my 55. And they've ended up with 155 that way. But I reckon there's some other mistakes, you know, that students will make here with this particular one. What about this 65%? Can you see where you'd get that from? What's 65%? Well, 65% is close, but 65% is the percentage that 200 has been increased to give you the new amount. So if you increase something by 50% and then you increase it by 10%, it's an actual increase of 65%. And we can see that there, but that's not what the questions ask for. The questions ask for what percentage of the original amount would you come up with? So watch out for that one. Um, another one I can see students coming up with is 160%. So again, similar thing, they've realized that 100% is coming into play. They've then added 50% on to get 150% and added 10% on to get to 160%. So look, I'll be honest with you, percentages are tricky. There's loads of stuff you've got to do. Find percentages, increase by percentages, find percentages of, do reverse percentages, compound interest, blah, 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 blah. You've got to be comfortable and confident with all of them. And the easiest way to do that is to firstly read the question and make sure you know what skill they're actually asking you to do. Secondly, make sure you can do the skill. And thirdly, just pause a second and check your answer makes sense. I'll be honest with you, I paused when I got 165. I thought, is that right? Is that too small? Is it too big? Just take your time and just see if the answer actually makes sense. If you need some help on percentages, I do not blame you at all, the flipping hard. Uh, follow the link on the bottom of this video, wherever you're watching this. Uh, go on Mr. Bart Maths, type in percentages, you'll get to practice uh, increase, decrease, all, all those kind of stuff. And try the rest of this quiz out. It will really test your percentage skills to the limit. And I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.